Hey guys, it's Jen from over at worldofgencraft.com and this is our project for today. So it's this really cute but simple card that I created using the paper and ink sketches number 24. The sketch will be on my website if you're interested in checking it out along with printable downloadable dimensions and a supply list. Let's get started with the supplies and I will show you how I put this together. The ribbon that I used is the Daffodil Delight and it's the double stitched ribbon so it has these little X's on one side and then double stitching on the back side. The basic black archival stampin' pad. I use bird banter for my little sweet birds and a little wild for the sentiment. Layering circles framelits and the stitched shapes framelits. And I used my Stampin' Write markers this time because I wanted to use the Marina Mist, which goes with the cardstock that was in the paper pack. So I'll go over these colors. I'll list them on the um, video, and then I'll go over them when I start to color. And, of course, we can't forget our clear wink of Stella. The paper that I used is a 4 and a quarter by 11 Whisper White cardstock scored at 5 and a half to create our card base, a two and three eighths inch stitched circle, and a one by four and a quarter piece as well. Marina Mist cardstock. This is retiring, so if you want to get your hands on it, uh, you might want to do so as sooner than later because it is while supplies last. So this is four by five and a quarter and a two and five eighths inch circle. Old olive cardstock is one and one eighth by four and a quarter and Daffodil Delight cardstock is two and three quarter inch scallop circle. The DSP that I used is the Sweet Soiree DSP from the Occasions catalog and this is also retiring as well. Let's get straight to the stamping because after that everything is uh, pretty easy to put together. So let me grab out my little stamp here. Now this actually has one little bird that goes one way and one that goes the other so I just adhered them onto or attached them to my block facing each other which made it a lot easier than having to stamp both of them separately which is what I initially did the first time I made this card. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys probably about Oh, I don't know, maybe about here, so maybe not quite halfway down, but just enough to leave our space for our sentiment, which is this one. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw that on there. Perfect! Yay! And then this little teeny tiny heart, I'm just going to stamp out, also using my basic black. And that's it. So I'm going to set this aside just to give it a chance to dry before we start coloring in. And let's go ahead and start assembling the card. So we're just going to see if I can get all of this in the picture here. Just throw on our Marina Mist cardstock and going directly onto the card base and the designer series paper. You know, I wasn't a huge fan of this side, although I've seen some really beautiful things done with it. Um, but I just wasn't a huge fan of it, but I love the little dots. Isn't that just cute? The little Daffodil Delight, Marina Mist, and Old Olive Dots on this. It's just kind of a bright and cheery little paper. So that's just going to go directly on top of our Marina Mist. And the Whisper White strip is going to go onto the old olive. Now I did make a change in the measurements. The sketch that is on my website, this strip is actually listed as a one and a half by four and a quarter. I did bring it down a little bit because I felt like the one and a half inch strip was wider than what I needed it for. Of course, you could always put your sentiment on this strip. I just put mine up in the circle, but this would be a great place to put the sentiment. And in that case, maybe you do want a little bit bigger of uh, 
a strip to put down there. So I'm going to put our double stitched ribbon on here and I kept it more up towards the upper portion of the strip and I put my little X's so they were facing up. So I put maybe about a quarter of an inch um, between the top part of it and the top part of my ribbon. So that'll just go on like that. And I go ahead and I do put the adhesive over the top of my ribbon whenever I have it down on a strip like this because sometimes if you don't put that extra adhesive on there, it, it, it doesn't want to stick as much. So I just try to put on just to make sure that it doesn't pop up. Because I've had cards in the past where I didn't do that. And because of the bulk of the ribbon, then it just kind of wants to come up off the card a little bit. So that's just going to get put right down here. I'd say maybe about a half to three quarters of an inch from the bottom. And let's put our circle on top of the Daffodil Delight. And I put, which I'm, I'm starting to run out, I'm going to have to cut into this. So we'll just put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. And I like that you can use every last bit of these Stampin' Dimensionals. There is no waste in this. So this is going to get just get stuck to that top part of our card as soon as I get our little paper thingies off. And I tried to center this as best I could. Um, so right about like that. Let's grab out our coloring. And we'll start with the, what is this called? Melon Mambo. So I just went ahead and just colored it directly in. And you don't have to put a ton of pressure on the markers to get it to color in. Our old olive, I just colored in the head of this bird. And usually I fast forward through this, but I thought, man, this time there's not as much coloring. So, and then just coming down from the wing of this one. And I suppose you could always, uh, you know, keep them both colored the same, but I thought having the the differences or the little variations in each of the birds was kind of a nice uh, difference on there. So then I'm just going to color in the wing on this one. And forgive my dog barking. I don't have the door closed upstairs, so you might hear it a little bit more than normal. And then I'm just going to color in the body and down here in this part of his feathers. And I also colored in this little top part of the beak with that blue. And the Daffodil Delight is going to, the beaks are going to be colored in. And that's kind of wanting to drag that black in. I probably should have waited just a little bit longer before I colored over it. And then we'll just get the body of this guy. and down here on this little feather coming out and that is it for that so let's throw this on top of our marina mist circle I'm trying to make sure everything stays here in the in the uh, picture in the camera view so that's that and then let's throw on a bow so i'm just gonna bring my bow around. This was kind of a nice ribbon. It tied bows nicely. That's one of the first things I do when I grab, when I get a, a ribbon, new ribbon, I'm like, ooh, how does it, what does the bow look like? <laughs> There's just something about adding ribbon, just adding a bow to a card. It just, I feel like it just softens up. You know, the papers sometimes have a tendency to leave just kind of a harsh line where I feel like just putting a little touch of ribbon on there um, with a bow 
kind of helps soften up the whole look of the card. Um, so that's why that was one of the biggest reasons that I switched over to Stampin' Up! when I did was because I loved Stampin' Up!'s ribbon selection. They just always had the best selection, you know, with the most colors matching their cardstock. And, um, yeah, so if truth be told, that's one of the main reasons I came over to Stampin' Up! Um, is their ribbon and their embellishments. Um, but ribbon! Oh, my gosh. So, I'm a ribbon girl. There you go, there's that. And then lastly, I did go over it with the Clear Wink of Stella. And you don't have to do this, but I do like the extra shimmer that it gives. Now, when you are doing this, you do want to be careful that you don't transfer the colors from one to the other. So when you're, because this, this will pick up the color that you are uh, coloring over. So just want to kind of wipe off your brush onto just a scrap piece of paper in between um, when you put your Wink of Stella on. So from this I have a little scratch over here that you guys can't see um, but I definitely don't want to transfer the blue on, especially onto the Daffodil Delight. It shouldn't really matter a ton going from the Old Olive to the Marina Mist. But there it is. This is our card for today. So super simple, but I thought it turned out pretty darn cute. I just love those little birds. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed and you like what you see, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and it will notify you as soon as I upload a new video. As always, instructions, or not instructions, but dimensions in a printable PDF format will be available over at my website, worldofgencraft.com, if you'd like to head over there and print it out for your future use. Um, again, also, the sketch is over on my website, too, that you can save onto your computer. Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day, and I will catch you guys later on my next tutorial. Bye.